Hello and welcome to another episode of Elephant English Podcast. Today we're going to have a conversation with my mum about books. The first question is, do you prefer to read books or magazines? It depends on the day really. Um, if I know that I've got a lot of free time, I like to read a book. But if I only have a, a short period of free time, then I would pick up a magazine and just read one or two pages. So you would just flick through the pages of the magazine and only read one or two articles? Yes, I'd flick through and find something I was interested in. The next question is, what is your favourite subject to read about? Well, normally I would choose a book that was a murder mystery or some kind of detective novel. And did your parents read to you when you were a child? No, when I was a child, my parents were very busy working. And so I read to myself. And I think that's where I developed my love of reading when I was about nine or ten. And why were they busy? Because they owned a small shop and they both worked a lot of hours. And did you used to read children's books or adults' books? Well, when I was about nine or ten, I started with books that were by Enid Blyton, who was a, a popular author for children. Um, and then in my teenage years, I progressed to the murder mystery novels that I enjoy now. The next question is, would you give a book as a gift? Only if I knew the person very well and I knew what type of books they liked. Because often I recommend a book to a friend or to my husband and then when they start reading it, they don't like it or they don't enjoy it as much as I do. So it's very hard to buy a book for somebody else and unless you know exactly what they like. And another problem is that maybe you buy a book and they've already read that book. So if they like a particular author, you've got to be careful uh, when you choose which book that you're going to buy for them. Um, yes, I think I would only buy a book for a person if it was a very new book on the market, so I know that they haven't got it yet. The next question is, describe a book that you enjoyed reading. You should say what the book was, what it was about, why you read it, and explain what effect the book had on you. So a book that I've read recently is The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Um, the author, Richard Osman, is often on British television as a presenter of quiz shows. So the book has been publicised a lot and that's why I bought it. Also the reviews that I'd seen were very good. It's about a, a group of older people who live in um, sheltered housing and one used to be a policewoman, one was a detective and one was a nurse. And so between them, they tried to solve murders in their spare time. The book was very entertaining, it was funny and kept you guessing who the murderer was and at the end of the book I was, was looking forward to buying the next instalment in the book because I think there are three in total. It's not the most gripping book that I've read. Other authors such as James Patterson are more experienced in writing thrillers but this was an easy book to read and I enjoyed it very much. The next question is, do people in your country like to read books? I don't think that so many people enjoy reading books these days. I think that there's so much on television, 24 hours a day, that people don't think about reading books. But I think those who do enjoy reading books are devoted to it and they prefer reading books to watching television or listening to music. And do you think it's important for people to read books? Yes, I think it's very important for children to learn the enjoyment of reading alone and 
even for older people, it's good company. And if you're on a train journey or bus journey, you can easily read your book. In your opinion, do people read as much nowadays as they did in the past? No, because at some time, books were the main source of entertainment, really. Now people have their phones, uh, tablets, computers, television, music. So there are more forms of entertainment. But as I said before, there are people who love reading And those people would rather spend their time reading than wasting their time watching television. The next question is, how do most people read books today? In hard copy or on a tablet? I think it's about 50-50. At one point, there was a craze for having a Kindle and reading books online. But then a lot of people prefer the actual feel of a book and knowing how many pages are left, and that you can take a book anywhere with you. But then really, you can take a Kindle anywhere you go, or an e-book. Yes, that's true, but I think that people like to look at the cover of a book, and to have the actual physical feel of a book. That's what, what I mean. And do you think that traditional books will be replaced by tablets in the future? Maybe in the future. Um, I went to a bookshop the other day and I noticed that there were a lot fewer books than there used to be in this shop. But then again, there are a lot of very big bookshops too. So I think the trend at the moment is for non-fiction books like cookery books or self-help books rather than novels. It seems like the bookshops are promoting those rather than the fiction novels. And people wouldn't really download recipe books, is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's true. People like to have recipe books that they can use in the kitchen. Whereas when you're cooking and your fingers have flour on them or your fingers are dirty, you can't really use your tablet or Kindle so easily. So, in today's video, we have talked about books. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.